Ladies and gentlemen, this is six three-minute rounds of boxing in the lightweight division. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the red spangled shorts trimmed with black and white. At the weight, he's got nine stone, 13 pounds, one ounce. From seven contests, he has three wins. Two of those wins coming by way of knockout, two defeats and two draws. Presenting from Bridgewater, Dean Dynamite Mills. And opposing him, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the silver and blue spangled shorts. At the weight, he scaled nine stone, 11 pounds. He has a perfect record consisting of 13 contests, 13 wins. Four of those wins coming by way of knockout. Presenting from Dewsbury, the undefeated Gary Sykes. <laughs> Time keep the bell, Martin Fallon. The referee in charge of the action, Sean Messer. Six three minute rounds. Say break, cross stop punching, step back, obey me at all times and protect yourself at all times. Is that understood? Shake hands, good luck to both of you. In the first round. Here's one of the brighter youngsters on the domestic scene at the moment, the classy Gary Sykes. Fast closing in on a title tilt so he'll need a good performance here against the less experienced but useful Dean Mills he's made the trip from Somerset but it's Sykes who's in good form he had a good 2009 didn't he yep he did they won the eliminator against Anthony Crawler and uh, Crawler's subsequent form makes that an even better when he was it was an excellent performance that night so obviously on the march on the verge of a British title fight, so must not slip up tonight. Good body shot with the left hook from Sykes. And it was a really good fight against Anthony Crawler. One of our best matches of last year. As Jim was saying, Crawler who's gone on to beat Michael Brody. Looks good for Sykes. He's unbeaten in 13 now. Body shots back from Dean Mills, calls himself Dynamite. Powerful looking Dean Mills, he sets himself solidly as well. So looks as though he carries a fair bit of punching power. Yeah, two knockouts in his three wins. He's only 22, youngster. Giving away the heightened reach to Sykes too. Maybe that extra bit of quality, right hand from the former England international. Fast pace, lively start. Sykes beginning to settle now, you know, he's punching looking better, timing looking better. I think in these kind of matches there, the underdog, if you like, usually firing in all cylinders early, making an impression. The longer this round has gone, uh, the better Sykes has looked, really settling into the job now. Good combinations from Sykes. Tough mills, though. Yet Mills has landed some decent body shots in the first minute of the fight. Still has that solid look about his work. And the Sykes beginning to put his boxing together better now. Yeah, really backing up Mills there. Gary Sykes at the end of the first. Now you're gonna enjoy yourself here. You feel any strength? Just getting you I know you just listen. No need to get around silly the early on. You won the round, you, you lead catching him with lead left hooks. <laughs> right hands down the middle, okay? Don't forget your jab. Yeah. Everything's lovely. Feel open listen, listen, 
This kid ain't got no head movement whatsoever. That's what he's saying, he's just doing that. He's no head movement, he's coming in, in a straight line, <laughs> yeah? But every now and again, he's throwing that big looping right hand over the top, yeah? Because he thinks he can. Julian McGowan leading the Sykes corner. Yeah, a lovely left hand to the body from Sykes. And the longer the round was going, you know, the, the better he was looking, the smoother. And you could see that the class showing itself. But full credit to Mills. Yeah, it was an entertaining opening ball, round. That's why he's not used to going back in. Yeah. Second down to round two. Silver and blue of Gary Sykes from Dewsbury. 25 now, Sykes. His 14th fight. No one has beaten him yet as a pro. Dean Mills trying. Will he know enough? He's strong and game. But Sykes, at the end of that first, was beginning to put the punches together nicely. He looks relaxed as though he's enjoying himself in there. Yeah, it was as though he spent the first minute or so just having a look. Just have a little think about what the job needed. And then set to work and he's picked the pace up at the beginning of the second round here. Stumble. That's been counted. Well, no, I would never have counted that. That looked as though the feet. And that's exactly what Sykes is saying. A slip. Maybe the feet got tangled, but it didn't look like a knockdown. No, I would never have called that a knockdown, but uh, in a close fight, that could have a real bearing, obviously. So I don't imagine it will be a decider on this one. Six got Sykes right back down to work again. Sean Messer, the referee, deciding to give Sykes a count. Strange one. Doesn't look like it's affected him at all, though. Should be too experienced for that. Right hand, though, was better from Mills. Sykes just ha has to be careful. He doesn't overreact to the knockdown. Just get a little bit too hot headed, he just has to keep his cool. Things were working nicely, and they're still working nicely. Just the eighth fight for Dean Mills. We saw had a draw with Barrington Brown in a real tussle a couple of years ago here in Nottingham. Heads Banging in there together. Sykes is actually kind of lunging in at times with his punches, which he doesn't have to do. He has to be mindful of the clashes of heads there. A couple of already. Mills with a mark under his right eye. I don't think he minds the, the bruises. Looks like he can tolerate pain with the tattoos on his body, Jim. Yeah, well, that's a fact. Uh, I can imagine there must have been some pain involved. <laughs> the illustrated man was a film one, so he could have taken the part. Right hand from Sykes. And, uh, well, a strange knockdown called. Don't speak. But Sykes on top. You stood on your foot. Yeah. I ain't interested in what that referee said. That's that last round. You stood on your foot. He dominated that round. Okay? You bullied him that round. Forget that. Use that jab. Julian when you McGowan throw the jab now, saying push him he back stood on your foot. We'll I think he's right. Yeah, but it was never a knockdown. But the referee's called it a knockdown, so we'll have to. See, there you go. He stood, stood on his toe. Back him went over. I mean, it was a bad call straight away. But the referee's called it, so we'll have to credit Mills with the, the knockdown. You can see. It wasn't even really a, a punch landed, just stood on his toe, over he went, so... The referee has given Dean Mills the benefit of the doubt, we better do the same with the scorecard, but I don't think it'll make really any difference. How would you score that, and how would he score it? He, he, he may score it level, or he may score it 10-9 to Mills. Uh, I would have scored it the, the round normally 10-9 to Sykes. I thought he, you know, his boxing was far better. Good round, uh, keeping in mind, and it, and it certainly did rev Mills up a little bit. But it shouldn't have a bearing. I think the longer this goes, you would expect the class of Sykes to start to paying dividends. Third round, we're in the nine stone nine lightweight division. Gary Sykes coming in at 9 11. The 
it's closing in on the British super featherweight title. That's the aim. Top class amateur. Calls himself five stars. He won the junior ABAs and the ABA title. He wants British, European and world honours. Some ambition. Well, that's a good jab. Well, a good snap behind it. Not just looking to find the range. Oh, that's it. Pumping it out. Which is the, probably the perfect punch for the aggressive Mills. Absolutely, as he comes in. And that's what the corner were asking for from Sykes. Don't forget your jab. And now he's producing it. Beat John Murray twice in the amateurs, Gary Sykes. So he's got the skills, the pedigree. Plenty of potential. Body shot with a left hand as well. Mills still sprightly, but he's starting to take one or two of these. Gaps are appearing. Yeah, Sykes is drilling the punches out now. Widening his stance a little bit as he places them. Nice jab. Thumping out from Sykes. He's not a big puncher with just four knockouts, but if he places them right, they can be hurtful. Mill's a little bit more stationary now as this one wears on, so he's easy, more easily hit and he's taking the punches a little bit more cleanly than he was earlier. Good defensive work also from Sykes. Yeah, he very much deserves to be in the mix for British titles now, doesn't he, Sykes? Yeah. And the fact that he's uh, won the, the eliminator, then uh, he's earned the right. So as soon as they can get something organised, they should be moving on. Throws a great deal, Gary Sykes. Work rate, keeping up a pace, and finding angles. Mills only lost a couple. He's busy enough, just not quite good enough. 